In this video, I want to talk about the purpose of the experiment in your gamma models. Now, the simple purpose of the experiment is actually just to define your experiment inside your gamma model. But what I want to do in this video is I want to give you some examples of things that you can define inside your gamma experiment so that you can see what the influence is of different experiment definitions. To show you the purpose of an experiment, I want to take a look at the predator-prey model. We can find the defined experiments of the predator-prey model at the bottom of the file. So if we move to the bottom of the file, we find one experiment called predator-prey of type graphical user interface. And we find one experiment right here called optimization of type batch. And you also see that those two experiments are displayed in the experiment buttons at the top of the file right here. What you see is that the symbols of these two experiments are different. This is because the types of the experiments are different. The one is a batch experiment and the other one is a graphical user interface experiment. In this video, I want to take a look at the graphical user interface experiment because this is the most used one. Just to give you a small explanation of what this batch experiment is for, this is an experiment defined to find the optimal input parameters to have the maximum number of predators and preys in your simulation. So this is the second type of experiment that you can define with your gamma uh, model. So, but now let's take a look um, at the graphical user interface experiment. And there are two things that you can define in your graphical user interface experiment. The first thing is input parameters that are defined right here. And the second thing that we can define are output displays. So they are defined inside the output right here. So let me first comment out all the input parameters. Let's see what happens if we don't define any output display and we run the experiment. What we will see is that there's actually not a new window initialized. It just looks like we are still in the gamma editor. Actually, we are in the simulation modus, as you can see right here, the experiment is ready and we can actually run it by pressing this button and you can see that the experiment is running. So let's see what happens if we define, for instance, this first display, which is called the main display. In this display, we define the grid that is defined by vegetation cell agents and we indicate them with black lines. And we also indicate the two species that we created, the predators and the preys. And we visualize the two with their icons. Um, and the icon is an aspect of both the predator and the prey. And we have defined this aspect in the generic species right here. So aspects are actually the um, uh, attributes that will define how your agents are visualized during your experiments. And the aspect icon is, for instance, defined as a certain icon that is uploaded with a specific size and color. So when we run the experiment, what we see is that there is a main display created. And as we would expect, we see the vegetation cells, the predators and the prey displayed in this display. One common thing to define into your experiments is a monitor. So here you see the definition of a monitor called number of preys with the value number of preys and a monitor with the name number of predators. So when we run the experiment right now, we see that we have created another window called monitors and it displays the number of preys and the number of predators. So monitors are a simple way to uh, keep track of some specific attributes that you define. So now let's define all the different charts that are uh, created in the predator prey model and see what the experiment looks like. We see that there are three displays created right here. One is the one that we already saw. The other one is the info display. And here there are some extra info displayed and in the population information display, we have defined some charts of different types. These are two bar graphs and here we have a line graph. So if we run the experiment, you will see that this one is a line graph. So these are some examples of outputs that you can generate inside your experiment. Now let's take a look at the inputs. If we comment in the inputs and we run the experiment, now we see that again another window is created right here on the left side. 
This window shows all different inputs that we just created. And we can actually adjust these inputs and then you can run the experiment again. So the definition of these input parameters you use to easily adjust some specific attributes that you like to adjust during your experiments. And you can run the same experiment with different input parameters by adjusting these, these input parameters. So that was it. I hope this video clarified for you what you can do with an experiment and what the purpose is of an experiment inside your gamma model. If you want to know more about the global definition or about species, please click on one of the videos below. Thank you.